Brain, are you ready for some action? Welcome to Watch Mojo's Cartoon Countdown. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times cartoons predicted the future. Number 10, KFC Chicken Shortage, South Park. In 2018, many KFCs across the UK experienced a chicken shortage due to some logistical problems with stores receiving deliveries. Stores closed, which means fans of the fast food chain were unable to get their fix for up to a month in some locations. Eight years earlier, a similar situation unfolded in South Park, where new state laws forced KFC to close all their locations. Kentucky Fried Chicken is illegal. Cartman, desperate to get the Colonel's chicken, joins an underground operation to get his hands on the stuff and resorts to selling KFC on the underground market. Number 9. Disney Buys 20th Century Fox – The Simpsons When Homer discovers the vacation home of Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger in Springfield, he quickly endears himself to them. He also uses the opportunity to slyly present a script he wrote and hopes to have Baldwin and Ron Howard involved in the project. I'm sorry, Homer. Later, Howard is pitching projects to his production partner Brian Grazier back in Hollywood. During the establishing shot, there's a sign for 20th Century Fox, and at the bottom, there's text indicating it's a division of Walt Disney Co. At the time, they were separate, but in 2019, Disney completed their acquisition of Fox. Number 8. Furious 7 Tragedy – American Dad Steve and his friends discover a downed airplane while out for a bike ride. Inside the wreck, they find the script for The Fast and the Furious 7. This episode aired in 2012, three years before the release of Furious 7. Before filming was completed on the project, Paul Walker tragically died in a car crash. What's eerie here is that the imagined version of the film in American Dad is also struck by tragedy, as Steve and co. find the script in the hands of the presumed author who died in the resulting crash. Number 7. Video Calling – The Jetsons Set in the distant future, the Jetson has a lot of potential for predictions. In the show, a lot of tasks are automated. Also prevalent in the animated series are visa phones, which permit individuals to readily call people up with video. Mother, I was just going to call you. The concept of video phones has been around since the early 20th century, but what the Jetsons managed to accurately capture is their ubiquity in society. Video screens are used constantly as a way for characters to interact, although a big difference in the show is that people can all of a sudden pop in on you through the technology. Number 6. Smartwatch – Inspector Gadget The titular inspector is frequently on the case to stop the devious Dr. Claw. Gadget is often clumsy or downright incompetent when on a mission, yet manages to defeat Claw time after time. Of course, the brains of the operation is his niece Penny, who constantly watches out for her uncle's safety. Brain, the ringmaster lied! She also has some pretty advanced tech at her disposal. She carries with her a computer made to look like a book, and some have noticed a resemblance to early laptops. She also sports what we call a smartwatch today. Number 5. Miley Cyrus Transformation – South Park in the mid-2000s, critics took aim at Britney Spears' looks and behavior in the public eye. South Park satirized the public obsession with Spears into a parody of the short story The Lottery, where the pop star is used as a sacrifice to ensure a good harvest. Towards the end of the episode, there's a news report indicating Miley Cyrus is on a similar path of changing her image. Cyrus at the time was known for her clean image as Hannah Montana. She would skirt controversy with an image shift with revealing photo spreads, music videos, and her performance at the 2013 MTV VMAs. Number 4. Kevin Spacey Allegations – Family Guy After Meg is teased for her looks at school, she goes to the mall with Lois to shop for new clothes. Stewie and Brian tag along, and Lois suggests they hang out while she's with Meg. They make a bet that sees Stewie streak through the mall, claiming he just escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement. Almost 15 years later, actor Anthony Rapp would publicly accuse Spacey of making advances towards him when he was younger. Others would also come forward with similar allegations. However, Spacey would be found not guilty or charges have been dismissed in various trials he's faced. Number 3. Cats Reception – Hey Arnold Released in 2019, the feature-length film version of Cats was not well received. It performed poorly at the box office and was widely panned by critics for its special effects and overall poor execution. The movie is within the realm of it being so bad, it's good. Similar to The Room, a similar situation happened in Hey Arnold, when Helga and her father go to watch a parody of the feline musical called Rats. 
As they sit and watch the show, they are in disbelief about what they see and proceed to comment on how stupid the show is. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen! Number 2. Pamela Anderson in Slow Mo, Futurama. After being frozen for a thousand years, Fry finds out he's become a billionaire due to interest accruing on the 93 cents in his bank account since 1999. He uses his wealth to purchase the last can of anchovies at an auction. Mom also wanted the anchovies because they could put her out of business. She decides to drain his account, and her sons hatch a plan to steal his bank card and pin. Pamela Anderson enters, asking Fry if he remembers her from the Baywatch movie filmed in slow motion. At the time, no such movie existed, but Anderson did make an appearance in 2017's Baywatch in slow motion. Number 1. President Trump, The Simpsons while the Simpson family attempts to go camping, they come across a Native American casino. Since Bart is a minor, he's not allowed to enter, but manages to sneak in anyway. He's taken by the casino's manager, who shows Bart a vision of what his future will be if he doesn't change his deceitful ways. Bart has become a slacker, while Lisa has become president. During a meeting, she mentions that her government has inherited a budget crunch from President Trump. The episode aired in March 2000, so it would be about 16 years before Trump actually became president. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. 